Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video I wanted to talk about the nitrogen cycle and how to cycle an aquarium. If you stay until the end of the video, I'm going to discuss a couple of things that other videos don't tend to touch on. First of all, ammonia is produced in our aquariums. This is by fish waste and decaying plant matter. When this starts to happen, a bacteria starts to grow that consumes the ammonia and turns it into nitrite. Once the nitrite levels start to build in our aquarium, then another bacteria begins to populate which consumes the nitrite and converts it into nitrate. The first thing we want to do is set up the aquarium and get everything running, like your filter and all that. What I'll do when I first start is get a bucket like this and fill it up with 10 litres of water with one drop of ammonia. This is a pure ammonia, it's got nothing else in it. What I'll do is test the water and see how much the ammonia raises in 10 litres of water with one drop. Then calculate the volume of the aquarium. So if it's 100 litres and one drop lifts 10 litres by one part per million, I'll dose 10 drops which will raise the aquarium to one part per million of ammonia. Then after about 10 days what we should see is the ammonia starting to drop and the nitrite starting to climb in our tank as this the ammonia is starting to be consumed. What we should see after that is the nitrite starting to drop and the nitrate starting to raise. Now, if the nitrates get to 50 parts per million, what we want to do is a 50% water change and take them back down or larger. Every time the ammonia hits zero, we want to dose it back up to one part per million. Okay, so a few other things. Bacteria like a different type of water parameters than a lot of fish. The first thing bacteria like is the peak metabolism is at 28 degrees Celsius. What I tend to do, I set my tank up at first, I'll test the KH and the pH and what I'll do is, what I'll do is I'll get a tub of bicarbonate of soda and I'll put it in the oven for an hour on the lowest setting of the oven and what it does is it turns bicarbonate of soda into soda ash which won't affect you pH but it'll raise your KH and then I'll make a solution. I'll dose the aquarium so the KH is at 300 parts per million. This is before I start adding the ammonia. See what happens is as the beneficial bacteria are consuming the ammonia they're also using hardness out of the water to convert it and what we find over time is the KH of the aquarium drops so what I like to do is buffer it right up at the start of the cycle and then it gives the bacteria everything they need to consume and it basically speeds up the, the cycle. Remember guys, every time you do a water change you're going to want to bring the ammonia back up to one part per million and the KH back up to 300 parts per million. When the cycle's finished, ammonia is at zero and nitrite is at zero and the nitrate is climbing steadily the cycle's complete and then what you want to do is do a large water change set the parameters to how you want to keep the fish and then stock the fish and then the cycle's over and you, you don't need to dose anything anymore anyway if you found the information in this video useful please give it a like comment on anything you want in the comment section ask any questions you want and please please consider subscribing it really helps the channel grow take care guys see you soon